Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the interior door panel on the rear sliding door on a 2013 Honda Odyssey. When we take the door panel off, we're going to have to have the door in an in-between position. Um, so make sure that this switch is turned off. That way the door doesn't open all the way up. Next, we're going to have to remove this uh, inner door handle. And how it's held on is there's a snap ring that's clipped around the bottom here. So you can use a flathead. Um, I like to use, this is just a radiator remover tool. Uh, just something with like a pick end, or I mean, like I said, you can use a flathead and get in there. But uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with the tool and try to pry down on one end and get that snap ring to pop off. Now when it comes popping off, it, it'll usually go flying. Um, so you wanna like, cover up as much as you can with your other hand, like the backside, so when it goes flying out, it'll keep it from, uh, from losing it. So then I just take my pick tool and just pry down on the snap ring and just popped right off. That's what it looks like. And then just pull directly back on the handle and it slides right off. And to reinstall it, you just take this snap ring and from the bottom, just push it push it on and it clips right in and then after you get the door panel back on you just line line up the spines and then just push it back in it'll clip in you'll hear it clip um, but I'm not gonna push it on right now because I have to redo it next we're gonna have to remove this uh, back trim and uh, using a plastic pry tool or a flathead just uh, get in behind it just enough so you can get your fingers in behind there and just pull directly out on it and it pops right off. And then you're gonna to wanna to position this door panel, the uh, the sliding door. You're gonna to wanna to get it so the door panel is just inside the inner quarter trim. So if you can kind of envision the door panel coming outward, um, it wouldn't hit the quarter. So you don't wanna have it right there where it would hit the quarter. You wanna have it just inside the jam where it's got as much room for you to pull out on it. And then next, you're gonna to want to place one foot on the jam of the door. Uh, you can see it right here. I got my foot on the jam right here. And then with the, with the two hands, you wanna pull out on this cup holder uh, directly towards you. And that pops it loose. And then just come around the bottom, pulling out on the door panel. And then work your way up the back, get your hands behind the door panel and just pull out. And once the door panel is loose, you're just going to want to pull out on it until it passes this, this spine for the uh, door handle, the inner door handle. Make sure it's pulled out so that's inside there and then pull up on the door panel and it'll slide right past that. And once you have it past the spine, just pick directly up on the door panel and you're basically you're lifting it, it's, it's hanging on this edge right here. So when you're pulling up on it, you're just lifting it off that edge. And so right now it's just, uh, kind of hanging out here inside the car. And the last thing you gotta do is unplug this wire that's still holding it on. And just do that by pushing the tab and pulling out. And then I'll usually leave the door in this position. I'll leave the door in this position right here or excuse me, the door panel, and then I'll open the door all the way, and then you can just slide the door panel out of the door, and that's the easy way to get it out. 
sorry for the filming on this one guys it's pretty shaky it's really tight quarters in here so it's it's tough to get it all in, all in frame but uh but yeah that's it that's how you get the uh, door panel off thanks for watching